Hey, I am Richard, white label web designer and a Divi expert. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of the cumulative layout shift CLS by implementing simple code to the head of your Divi site. CLS can be an issue for Divi sites by default because the layout is jumping all over the place. But more importantly, it also impacts the performance of your site when you test it on GD metrics or page speed scores, and it can also negatively influence the SEO rankings of your site. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of that. Just make sure to click on the written part of my tutorial. The link is below this video and let's get started. I have a fresh new WordPress installation and I installed and activated the Divi team. I haven't changed anything in the Divi settings except for activating the classic editor, which is the way I prefer. But of course, you can also use Gutenberg. That's not a problem and it doesn't affect this tutorial. Right now I'm going to import one of the Divi pre-made tutorials just to have some content on the page. I'm going to go with the marathon layout pack and click on use this layout. And once my layout is imported, I'm just going to update the page so that the layout is actually saved. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy the URL of my page, open gdmetrics.com, which is a tool that I often use to analyze the performance of my sites, but you can also use page speed scores from Google and other tools. For CLS, it will show roughly the same result. And then I'm going to click on Analyze. And the report is ready. Let's just ignore all the other values except for CLS. I will address the other performance values in other videos. But in terms of the cumulative layout shift, as you can see, we have 0.15 for now. When I hover over the question mark for explanation, it says that for a good user experience, we should aim for a CLS score of 0.1 or less. Obviously, we are above that with 0.15. So we, what we will try right now is to go below 0.1 and hopefully even more like below 0.05 or something like that. So let's open the written part of my tutorial, scroll down and you will see code that consists of CSS code and some script. Let's grab the code, go back to the website, go to Divi, Team Options, Integration tab and paste the whole code to the head. This should really be the very first thing that you have in your tab. So if there is anything else like Google Analytics script or anything like that, just make sure that you have this code as the very first thing there. What this code does is that it hides everything on the page until it is ready, until the DOM is ready. So it doesn't load any unstyled content of the page because the problem with TV is that it loads the content without the CSS. So that's why you have the layout shift. This doesn't happen when you use the code. Now we will save the settings and go back to GD metrics. And I'm just going to hit retest, which is going to repeat the test with roughly the same conditions. Of course, if you repeat the test, sometimes you may see different results, not for CLS, but for the other values. But since we focus on CLS at the moment, that should be pretty reliable. And here we go. This is the report. And as you can see, our cumulative layout shift equals zero. So we were able to get rid of CLS completely. So for the future, you can just grab, copy and paste the code to your site, to the heft of your site, and you will get rid of cumulative layout shift for once and forever. Thanks for watching.